What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm back with another word. Yes, your father has sent me with another one, y'all. Now, I don't know who needs this one, but again, your father said could not wait. So whoever this is for, baby, this is going to be an on-time word, okay? So y'all, if you're new here, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without comment or sharing the video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, family. Listen, I have already prayed and blessed this face. Y'all know how I do, right? I didn't welcome the Lord in and welcome the Holy Spirit in, okay? But Father God, I still ask that you use me, Father. Speak through me. I am your vessel, Father God. Speak to your children. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, again, family, I don't know who need this word tonight, but God say you need this thing, so I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing, okay? Y'all, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. Well, whoever this is for, you got to know this word is for you, baby. You're going to catch this thing in the spirit, okay? Listen, God is saying right now, guys, he said unasked for, unexpected blessing. Yes. Your father said you are about to receive an unasked for, unexpected blessing. Now, y'all, this is not going to be for everyone. I'm going to give you this word how God gave it to me, okay? And I pray that it's a blessing, okay? But whoever this is for, you're going to know it's for you, okay? So God is saying right now, baby, get ready to receive an unasked for, unexpected blessing because you are a blessing to someone else. Okay, because you are a blessing to one of God's children, baby, and y'all know how he do for his children, or he do for those who does for his children, right? And God said, baby, you are a blessing unto my child, and he said, I will bless those who bless my children. All right? So whoever this is for, God is saying right now, you did something. And y'all, this doesn't have to be something big, right? And this doesn't have to be money. I know most times we think about things. You you say, oh, it's money. God is saying, no, it could have been a kind word. It could have been uh, 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 you prayed for them, right? You gave someone a ride somewhere, right? You gave them information. Whatever it was, you, you helped them keep the faith. You showed them that God still worked through his vessels, right? He still work through people. Amen. God is saying right now, and I'm telling you, it could have been something so insignificant to you, but it was big to God, baby. It made it to the heaven. Right, God is saying, and, and and whoever it was, uh, when I got the word, I kept hearing fallen soldier, a fallen soldier. So whoever you help, and you may not know who it was, but they were fighting like they were they were fighting in their faith. Right, God was saying, I'm, I was trying to keep them in a race. You helped them continue, okay? You helped build on their faith. You showed them that God still exists, baby. God still is in a blessing business, right? God said, you helped them keep the faith, baby. I'm going to bless you for that. That's why I said, this is not for everyone, but whoever this is for, God is saying, you met the need of one of my children. Come on now, you met the need of one of my children when you did that. You showed them that God still have vessels, baby. God still use people, okay? God still will help you through people, right? So God is saying you help them keep their faith. You help them to continue to believe. He's saying for that, baby, you're about to go through a season of, oh, God, why am I so blessed? Come on now. God, why you been so good to me, baby? Like, I'm telling you, when God gave me this word, y'all, I felt it. I felt the feeling. I felt it. I felt overly joyed, okay? And, and I could hear like, God, I don't deserve all of this. And some of you guys may already be experiencing this. Okay, and so like I said, it's going to be unexpected. I think it's unexpected because whatever you did, you weren't looking for anything in return. 
right it could have been somebody in front of you in a store or something you you paying they they bill and you're like i wasn't looking for anything in return right i just know how it feel to be in that situation you could have babysit somebody kids or you know help somebody with some gas money whatever it was it wasn't something uh big to you but it made it to the heaven right god say that's the beauty of you you weren't looking for anything in return that's why it's going to be so so unexpected but that's the beauty of it that you you weren't someone looking for your heart posture right and you did it out the kindness of your heart right you weren't you weren't waiting for them to pay you back okay and so god is saying right now because you helped because you blessed his child because you helped his child he's about to bless you right you met their need he's about to meet your need and it may be a need that you don't even know that you need that you have right it may be something that you don't even know that you have a need that you don't even know that you have god is about to bless you so he's saying right now whoever this is for to get ready for an unexpected unasked for blessing okay and if you somebody who always pay it for baby that should be your heart posture okay so get that heart posture right okay start having expectations for god to bless you okay so to get uh for for the blessing okay god is saying right now you're about to go through a season of i did not deserve all this right i didn't deserve this guy i've been faithful but god <laughs> i've been faithful but god you could have been who why am i so blessed and i'm telling you god is saying because you helped his child Okay, you help this child, you help them stay in the race. Okay, so whoever this is for, like I said, this is not going to be for everyone. Whoever this is for, God is saying right now, get ready for the unexpected. Get ready for the unexpected for blessing to come your way. All right, listen, y'all. I don't know who needs this thing, but I pray that it reaches you. Y'all, y'all, but I'm talking about it come as soon as tomorrow. Because if God say that this thing could not wait, that this had to be dropped today, that means he's telling you, get your heart expecting now. Get ready for him to bless you now. And I and when I say that, it's not like, yes, God bless us every day with breath and life, right? But so he's saying something bigger than that, right? It's going to be something personal. Right, it's going to be a personal need that God is going to meet for you. Okay, so receive this thing by faith, family. God is saying right now, get ready for the unasked for unexpected blessing. Okay, listen, y'all, let me give y'all some scripture and I'm going to let y'all go. All right, I love y'all so, so much, family. So God led us, guys, to 2 Kings. 2 Kings, uh, verse 4, chapter 4, verses 8 through 16. Again, it's going to be 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 16. I encourage you guys to go back and read it because I'm not going to go through it verbatim, okay? But go back and read it and get your revelations, all right? Don't depend on me to tell you everything, okay? Go get the word for yourself. That is how I, I get y'all to read, though, y'all. <laughs> go back and read it for real, for real, y'all. But if you're not familiar with the story, right, this is when a Shumite woman, uh, when she, she, uh, she creates a room on top of the roof for Elisha right he comes to town many times and she's like he's a man of God let me make room for him he didn't ask her she just decided to make room and uh she created a little room on top of the roof okay for him and when he got ready to put the light back on for y'all real quick y'all don't need no light y'all didn't come here for me y'all came here for the word right but uh when he went on top of the roof well when he got ready to leave and got a little twisted up when he got ready to leave uh one time he was like well god i want to do something for her what could i do for her and he told her you're going to have a son you're going to hold a son a year from now right she was like no don't do that to me but god knew she needed a male because her husband was getting old right back in those times so like i said god met a need for her that she didn't even know she need and it was unexpected because she didn't ask for it she didn't ask for it again. She didn't know she was going to need a male in her life, right? Another male to step in when her husband passed. Amen. But God knew that. Okay. So whoever this is for, God is saying right now, get ready for an unasked for an unexpected blessing because you were a blessing unto someone else. And you may not even know who it was because you're always looking out for folks, right? But God is saying right now, baby, have an expectant heart. Okay, have an expectant heart because he's about to bless you for what you did for his child. Okay, so get ready. 
all right i don't know who this is for but y'all i haven't asked you guys to engage on video okay before i let you go baby if you ready you listen even if this wasn't your word baby just get ready but we always in the kingdom we always being a blessing right that's the blessed life to be a blessing unto others so i feel like this word should should really set it out for everybody and some of you guys may already be experiencing this thing. You may have already experienced or uh, received the blessing. You're like, God, where did this come from? Like, I don't even deserve this one, God. Like, this is something that only God could have wanted for me personally, okay? Somebody just, you know, get ready. All right, so so get ready. Somebody say that thing out loud. If you're ready for the blessing, you're ready for the unexpected, for unexpected blessing, say, I am ready. Come on now, say that thing out loud. Say, I am ready. Again, even if it wasn't your word, say, I am ready. Get ready. Set your heart posture, okay? Get ready for what God is about to do for you, what he's about to place in your hand, amen, for what he's about to take you. Come on now. God say, get ready. Come on, somebody say, I am ready for the unexpected. Come on now. I am ready for the unex for blessing. Come on now. Are you ready? Come on, somebody say, I am ready. Come on now. Say that thing out loud and go down there in the comments and type it out. Somebody say, I am ready. Come on now. Are you ready for the unex for blessing? Come on now. This is something that only God could have wanted for you, baby. Only God could have wanted this for you, baby. You couldn't even thought this thing up. Come on now. This is something that you have not heard. Come on now. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered the mind of man. Come on now. God said you couldn't even ask for this one, baby. Get ready for it. Come on, somebody say, I am ready. Come on now. I am ready, baby. You can do it today. You can do it tomorrow. Whenever you want to do it, baby, I will be ready. Come on, somebody say, I am ready. Come on now. Go down there. Y'all know when y'all go in the comments and put in the comments, put capital I, capital A, capital M. Come on, say, I am ready. By the power of the great I am, I am ready to receive this thing. I am ready. In Jesus' name, listen, I love y'all so much. I have to go, y'all. I just wanted to get that word out. God said somebody need that thing. So, again, I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing, okay? Get ready, okay? Because you have been a blessing until someone else. You helped a fallen soldier, and you got them back on the horse, okay? You got them back in the race. You met a need for them, and God is about to meet your needs, okay? Listen, y'all, I love y'all so, so much, family. I really, really do, y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for the love, the comments, the likes, the shares, the new subscribers, the new followers on TikTok. Hey, family, what's up, y'all? I see y'all. I thank y'all so, so much. To, thank y'all for the encouraging emails while I've been away. Well, I'm okay, y'all. I thank y'all for the prayers, okay, in your prayer request. I have received your prayer request. I am praying for you guys, okay, even if I... If I didn't reply, no, I only replied to what the Holy Spirit released me to reply to, family. But I am praying for you guys, okay? I thank you guys so, so much for the, the sowing of seeds, for your donations, for the gifts that you guys been sending in. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for your, your generosity, okay? I thank you so, so much for giving in to the ministry, okay? Giving to God's mission and his vision for what he's going to do with us as a ministry, but also as a family right i thank you and i pray that god will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive okay it is in jesus name that i'm praying for you guys amen all right now family listen y'all go out and live a blessed life you know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing